Hey, hey, you're in the car with Tanny and Christopher, who has gone to registration for the 11th grade. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and now he's going to apply for a job because we see at our favorite, well, people's favorite ice cream store, Brewster's, they are needing an ice cream maker. I know, but this is a great time because, see, people are here, and that's probably the owner. Now, remember, speak up and speak clearly. Go. I'll wait right here. Uh, speak clearly and say, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I was just reminding Christopher. He called, and he got this. He said it just went, eh, eh, eh. And I said, that reminds me of the old-timey, what we used to call the busy signal. You'd be on your phone with the cord that was attached to the wall, you know, stretched around the corner. And you'd be dialing on your rotary, you know. And then you'd be listening, waiting to make a call. And this is what you heard. Eh, 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 eh. Because it was the busy signal. There was no call waiting back in the day, you know. <laughs> That's for you young fruit bats. <laughs> Where's my notebook? I've lost it. Oh, I lost my notebook, Christopher. Christopher is in here playing on his new synthesizer, and I lost my notebook. Oh no. He's he's playing what sounded just like Daft Punk in here. Here he is in the mecca universe of Christopher. <laughs> he may never move with his new chair in. Never. Can I speak into this? That's all. Oh. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> Let's see. I lost my notebook somewhere. I was coming to y'all. The first reason I'm coming to here it is coming to you is to talk about Chuck losing 20.4 pounds in just about a month. Go Chuck, that dance was for you. And I want to show you my new thing I got in the mail. Y'all, you'll have to have this. On Amazon, you can get a pack of 12 for I think it was $6. Let me show you. Look, let me give you the full effect of me trying it out. You ready? That's right, it is the genuine bamboo reusable straws, set of 12 for $6, look at that. They're all unique too with different size holes, like if you have a thick banana smoothie with, I don't know, date chocolates in there, or you have a little coconut meat that you need to be able to slide the straw, you can do it. Anyway, they're very cute and they're, this is a lemon ginger zinger. It is one whole lemon peeled with the seeds taken out, um, pith and everything put into the blender, about three inches of ginger, and a lot of water because it's really hot here today, and this is very refreshing and replenishing. So, I want to continue talking about what I was talking about this morning, which was self-love. This was a big part that I wanted to say to you. Are you wrapped up in your story? You know, the story that you tell yourself about yourself that keeps you caged into your old mentality? And furthermore, do you like your story so much that you don't really want to heal? Because love that raw vegan, love that high carb, more raw everyday vegan is the way, friends. I mean, it works for everybody I know that actually does it, you know? Are you addicted to your low energy vibe, you know, that, that the whole world is on? You're just complacent in that. Choosing to focus on negative and being directed around by the low vibe of this world, you know? A lot of people, they want to label their self by, um, by like they're a, a cancer victim or cancer survivor. I can see that. But, you know, the thing is creating a new story for yourself. Um, my friend Kevin, who had 
thyroid cancer, it, it almost killed him. And a thyroid cancer is the kind of thing that sort of you can get it to lie dormant if you're lucky. And that's where he is. And there's certain numbers that he watches. And when he went back to the doctor the last time I heard, the numbers had never looked so good since he's been on low-fat raw vegan. And that was about six months, maybe six or eight months. I forget what he said. But it, the doctors were amazed by it. But the thing is, he does not define himself by um, cancer survivor or, you know, by those numbers, it's just he keeps a check on that for his whole, you know, own mental um, awareness of that and making sure he's on track. But he's moved past that. He doesn't let that define him as the story of him. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I mean, you don't want to hold on to that negative. You can't surrender to the new different you when you're holding on to that old story, the old storyline that you let describe you, you know? It's all about your own perspective, furthermore. It's all about how you see things from your perspective. Somebody could see something totally black and someone else see it totally white. You gotta become the light in your own life, you know? Raw living foods don't dull my thinking down, you know what I mean? Because I like to have that vital force for other things, for creating and doing, for knowing just that I can accomplish things and I can set goals for myself and I can just have the ability and mental stability to thrive in my life no matter what I'm doing. Getting the omega-3 and omega-6, all the fatty acids I need for my brain to thrive furthermore. Someone asked me earlier, do I ever um, bump my diet down to no fat? I always have some fat because I consume one to probably one and a half to two pounds of leafy greens a day, which have pretty much all the essential fatty acids that you need. However, I usually add chia seeds through my day and usually avocado in the evening so I get my fats when I don't get um, you know around 10% I don't I don't feel as good I don't feel as balanced when I don't get those fats in the evening my hair doesn't do as good my skin is not as good my eyes are dry things like that you know um, You know, and two, when you're having your salad at night, are you like, are you taking the time to, to like nurture yourself and like really get out your V slicer, get out your mandolin slicer. Slice, you know, the more you slice up your veggies, the easier you can assimilate those the smaller the pieces and the more chewing you want to bust up those cell walls. But the little mandolin slicer, a salad chute or something like that, or furthermore having a great cutting board and a, and a great knife that you like. You know, you spend money on everything else. What about some bamboo straws for you? What about, I don't know, a new flower jar to drink your smoothies out of because I need a large, you know? I mean, I'm never at lack of anything on this diet. I never feel like, well, I don't have enough. I need something salty. Because I would go to the heirloom tomatoes. I would go to the celery. I would go to the leafy greens. You know, if I want something cheesy, I will put in nutritional yeast. If I want something sweet, I will kick up the dates in my tomato sauce in the evening. There's always a component to plug in for any craving you have. And then as the longer you're on this diet and lifestyle, the more clean your taste buds become and the more you can enjoy the sweet underlying flavor of butter leaf lettuce, for example. I mean, think on that. At night, when you're preparing your salad, if you're on the 21-day detox that we've been doing and you're even making your soups, when you're preparing that, are you preparing it with love and are you seeing it as the alkalizing, building food for your body that it is? Are you appreciating and respecting its vital force? That may sound corny, but you know, realize what you're putting in your body is what you're making yourself out of.
The body regenerates itself every few years. You could be a whole new you. Trust me. The body does not like an, an ex acidic environment to thrive, but you know what does thrive in there? Disease, cancer, bad bacteria, parasites in an acidic environment. So instead, choose alkalizing, vibrant, fresh, raw, ripe, whole fruits and vegetables. You can even start to get these pH strips, which I used to use all the time, and you just tinkle them on there a little bit in the bathroom first thing in the morning, and it can tell you how acidic your body is. It's very interesting. You know, when you're on a low-fat, raw, vegan diet, you have more energy and more gumption to get up and be more physical to declutter. You know, to organize your closet or to get rid of things you don't need or just basically like the other day the cabinet in my den this got my TV in it underneath it the the cabinet has forever been swinging open I mean I'm always like trying to shimmy something under it well I was just sitting there the other day and I thought well I never use anything in the bottom of there and um, I just put me a little tack nail and it stayed the thing is, or get up and straighten the picture over there on the wall that's been hanging crooked for three weeks. Not just sit there and feel fine to be droned out by Pepsi Cola and pepperoni pizza and, I don't know, whatever, regular ice cream. All this stuff people put in their face that makes them toxic and makes their mind toxic. It makes you not want to improve yourself. You just sit there like a drone. I mean, furthermore, let's embrace the fact if sickness comes our way. If your body is sick, it is a warning sign to you. Headaches, hair loss, sores, acne, being lethargic, acidic crystals in the joints, arthritis, all these things. Get to the core root of the problem, which is stop putting in the bad, start filling yourself up with the good, and be glad your body gave you the warning sign before it's too late. Listen to your body addressing these issues, you know, from the first warning. I mean, even if you're on more of like a raw gourmet diet and you think you're going to feel deprived going to low-fat raw vegan, no way. I've never been more satisfied. I always felt like there were empty holes in my diet, and I never felt satisfied on a higher fat raw gourmet diet. Furthermore, at the time, I didn't even realize it was high fat. I realized I didn't feel good, and I had no energy. You want to have a high energy alert? 80-10-10 raw vegan, you know? Cutting out the salt. Cut out the bloat. It's all the little things that we're constantly saying it's the same thing, but when you hear things several different ways, sometimes that's what it takes to implement it, don't you think? Taking time to just, you know, nurture your food and nurture yourself, you know? Getting out your slicer, getting out your pretty wooden bowls, getting a dang bamboo straw, whatever, you know? Whatever makes you feel like shaking out of the old story that you've been telling yourself of you forever into the new you, you know, into the new existence that you can be, right? I see people say they want to do it all the time. Today's the day. What are we waiting on? That's the question. <laughs> I'm contemplating going to get my hair trimmed, but I may have to cancel. I'm not sure. <laughs>